we have to do something about it. It's not about whether, it's actually quite stupid to go and buy yourself a fancy car in a land like this. It doesn't make sense. A car anyways is a liability, it's not an asset. You understand? We've got to do something about our country. And only people who are genuinely rooted in Christ will be able to deliver on God's purposes for this nation. Does he have a purpose for it? Of course. Look at the amount of resources he has put in Nigeria. Look at the, the resilience of the Nigerian. Look at how Nigerians are succeeding everywhere in the world, whether they left Nigeria 400 years ago or left Nigeria on a plane 50 years ago. They excel. We're at the top of the treasury in the United States. We're at the top of the World Bank. The list is very long in all the sciences and in all the arts. So the problem is not Nigerians. It is Nigeria and its constitution. The document upon which we were formed was a few soldiers who put it together and their surrogates. And that's what's supposedly holding us together. The foundation is that document. And if that foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? We've got to go back to the foundation. The next administration must not access power until we have a veritable constitution that is truly the document of we the people. We the people. You hear what I'm saying to you? Anything else is a fraud. Nigeria is a scam. It's a scam. And it's perpetuated itself too long. It's time to do something about it. No politician has the right to talk to us on this matter unless they believe as we believe. On this matter, Nigeria can do better, she can get better, and she can win. Most of the people that go into political endeavor, I will spare them words today. But I have very little respect for a political class who do not deliver with an understanding that they are servants of the people and servants of God. And they should do what God wants. We are suffering in Nigeria in our hundreds of millions, whereas we need not to. We could easily be one of the top three countries in the world with the kind of resources we have. And it's about time that we let the international community know that they must be partial. Don't come and tell us that you're protecting democracy. Don't come and tell us that you're looking for free and fair elections. Which election has been free and fair in this country, except the closest to it, Abiola and Babagana Kinkibe, which was annulled? Yeah. What we want you to do now, foreign communities, be partial to a criteria that raises candidates at the selection level, not the election level. Hmm. Where the, can the, the parties must put forth candidates who understand development and have proven it in their past, their history, as a tangible, ter a tangible resume that they can deliver development. Nigeria must develop. How can we still be buying uh, uh, petroleum product from foreign countries when this is the home of oil? You understand what I'm saying? How can we buy chocolate from Holland when this is where cocoa has its natural habitat? Do you understand what I'm saying? How is it that we do not participate in the value chain, then we only get about three, four percent of the value chain of most things that we have the raw material of here? Nigeria has lost her mind. I hope somebody's listening at me. Number two, we want people who not only can handle development, they must be disabused of religionism and ethnicism and terrorism. If you have ever been associated with terror, we do not want you to be our president, our governor, our representatives, our judges, or our lawyers. We don't want people like that. I believe that is the will of the people. Number four, number four, you must have the competence and capacity to assemble around yourself by the kind of friends you keep, the kind of associates you have run with, a capable and capacious cabinet that can deliver on the aspirations of all Nigerians. Number five, you must know how to source foreign direct and foreign portfolio investment. So we do not want to sell our jobs to Caucasian Europe or to Caucasian America or to any other part of the world. They should not be refining my cocoa 
in Britain, refine it in Nigeria. Bring your, bring your factories here and let us have equity in the factories that develop our raw materials into what your people will buy so that my people can have jobs. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is critical. Don't take my oil outside and then sell it back to me at a premium whilst it's your people getting the jobs and the salaries and my people are not. And our leaders participate in the fraud and they are allowed to perpetuate so that just a few people control the wealth of Nigeria. Five, ten, fifteen, maybe five hundred men. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? Nigerians, wake up. It's worth dying for.